All right, so here's, a, uh, here's another problem that's slightly trickier than the last one, perhaps. The main, the main twist in this one is we've got our region here, this triangular region, okay, in blue. And we're going to revolve it, but this time instead of revolving about the x-axis, we're revolving around a different vertical axis. This time we're doing x equals 3. So here's the line x equals 3. So we're going to take this triangle, we're going to revolve it around the axis, we're going to generate this, this shape here, okay? All right, and, and of course, this, this could be done by washers. Um, not a bad exercise to try using washers compared to the result that you get doing it uh, via shells and make sure you get the same answer. You really should, of course. But we want practice using shells, so we're going to use shells. So here in white, I've drawn a, a typical shell, okay? And we want to set things up. So in the shell method, well, instead of just saying, you know, x times f of x really applies to this kind of standard scenario, where our region kind of lies along the x-axis and we're revolving around the y-axis. And if we change those things up, we have to a little bit be a little bit more careful, right? So x could be replaced now just generally with radius as a function of x. So what is the radius in terms of x now? Well, it's the distance from our axis of rotation to, you know, a point, you know, an x value, right? So x is going to be here, right? So we're drawing these vertical lines through our triangle, right? There's a particular x. So, of course, uh, from here to here is 3, from here to there is x. So the radius is 3 minus x. Now, for the height, um, you have to be careful. This is actually take 2 on this video because I overlooked something last time. Uh, the equation of this line here is 2x plus y equals 2x plus 1, right? Slope. 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 over 1. So the slope is 2, intercept is 1, so y equals 2x plus 1. Uh, last time I wasn't thinking carefully, I just threw that in as my, my function. I said, hey, f of x is 2x plus 1, right? That's the height. Uh, but it's not. It's not because um, this region isn't sitting down on the x-axis. It's up here, right? So the height is the distance from here to here, right? It's the distance from 2x plus 1 to 1, right? So the difference in the y values is 2x plus 1 at the top of the triangle minus 1 at the bottom of the triangle, which is 2x, okay? So the volume then is, is 2 pi integral from, so x goes from 0 to 1, right? And we do r of x times h of x dx. So that looks like, well, r is... 3 minus x, h of x is 2x, okay? So we get 2 pi integral from 0 to 1 of 6x minus 2x squared, okay? It's not so bad. 2 pi times 3x squared minus 2 thirds x cubed, we integrate from 0 to 1, lower limit does nothing, so we just plug in the upper limit, we get 2 pi times 3 minus 2 thirds, All right? So 3 is 3, you know, 9 over 3 minus 2, so 7 over 3 um, times 2, we get 14 pi over 3 for our answer.